What's up, everybody? This is Tech G back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining every single thing that I can in regards to information technology so that you have a complete understanding of what this thing actually is. So let's get into it. All right. So information technology, this is a cornerstone of modern business and daily life, enabling a wide range of activities from communication and entertainment to commerce and scientific research. And in this video, we're going to explore what information technology is, its history, how it works, its key components, benefits, challenges, real world applications and future trends. All right, so let's get into it. What is information technology? So IT, this refers to the use of computers, storage, networking, and other physical devices, infrastructure, and processes to create, process, store, secure, and exchange all forms of electronic data. IT is often used in the context of business operations rather than personal or entertainment technologies. And IT also encompasses both hardware and software components and is essential for managing information systems. And here are some of the key characteristics of information technology. So we have data management. So IT, this involves the collection, storage, and management of data to ensure its accuracy and availability. We have network communication. This enables the exchange of information through networks, including local area networks and wide area networks. We have software applications. This includes the development and use of software applications to perform various tasks and solve specific problems. We have security, and this focuses on protecting information systems and data from unauthorized access, breaches, and other security threats. And then we have system integration. So IT involves integrating various systems and technologies to work together seamlessly. All right, next, let's go over a brief history of information technology. So the the field of IT has evolved significantly over the decades, driven by advancements in computing and computing technologies. And here are some of the key milestones in IT history. So way back in the 1950s, this was the development of early computers, such as the UNIVAC, which is what you are looking at on your screen right here. That is an actual computer, in case you guys didn't know. So this was the development of UNIVAC and IBM mainframes, and that marked the beginning of commercial computing. Then we have the 1960s era, and this was the introduction of time sharing systems that allowed multiple users to access a single computer simultaneously. Back in the 70s, this is when the microprocessor was invented, which led to the development of personal computing, making computing accessible to individuals and small businesses. Then came the 80s, and this was the rise of networking technology technologies such as Ethernet, which enabled the creation of local area networks and the growth of the Internet. Going into the 90s, this was the commercialization of the Internet and the development of the World Wide Web, which revolutionized communication and information sharing. Going into the 2000s, this was the proliferation of mobile devices, cloud computing and social media, which transformed how people and businesses interacted with technology. And then back in the 2010s, this was the advent of big data artificial intelligence and the internet of things which further expanded the scope and impact of it all right next let's talk about how information technology works so it this involves a combination of hardware software and networking components that work together to manage and process data and here are some of those core components the first one is hardware and this is physical components of it systems that include computers servers storage devices and networking equipment we have software this is programs and applications that run on hardware devices to perform specific tasks and software can be categorized into system software such as an operating system and application software such as word processors and databases then we have what is called networking and these are communication systems that connect hardware devices and enable data exchange and this includes wired and wireless networks routers switches and network protocols then we have what is called data management and these are processes and technologies for storing organizing and managing data and this includes databases data warehouses and data lakes and then we have security these are measures to protect information systems and data from cyber threats and this includes firewalls encryption access controls and intrusion detection systems 
And so here's an example of IT in action. So let's take a business information system. So within the business information system, we're going to have hardware such as servers, workstations, and networking equipment. We're going to have software such as enterprise resource planning systems, customer relationship management software, and office productivity tools. We're going to have some networking such as local area networks and wide area networks to connect office locations and remote workers. There's going to be some data management. So we're going to have databases that store customer information, sales data, and inventory records. And of course, there's going to be some security. So we're going to have some firewalls, some antivirus, and some multi-factor authentication to protect the sensitive data. All right, so let's talk about some of the key components of information technology. So there are several key components that are essential for the functioning of an IT system. And the first one is obviously the computer. So computers, these are devices that process and store data. This includes desktops, laptops, tablets, and servers. We have storage devices, and these are solutions for storing data such as hard drives, solid state drives, and cloud storage solutions. We have networking equipment. Mint. These are devices that enable communication and data exchange, including routers, switches, modems, and wireless access points. We have software applications. These are programs that perform specific tasks such as word processing, data analysis, and project management. We have what are called databases, and these are structured collections of data that are managed and accessed using database management systems. There are various security tools, and these are technologies and practices to protect IT systems and data, including firewalls, encryption, and intrusion detection systems. There's cloud services, and these are online services that provide computing resources, storage, and applications over the internet. And then we have the overall IT infrastructure. So this is the combination of hardware software and networking components that form the foundation of an organization's IT environment. All right, moving on, let's talk about the benefits of information technology. So IT, this offers numerous advantages that make it a critical aspect of modern business and daily life. And one of those advantages is efficiency. So IT automates repetitive tasks, which reduces the need for manual intervention and improves productivity. We have data management. So IT enables the efficient storage, organization, and retrieval of data, supporting informed decision making. We have communication. IT facilitates instant communication through email, messaging, and video conferencing, which can enhance collaboration, their scalability. So IT systems, they can be scaled to accommodate growth and changing business needs. We have cost savings. So IT reduces operational costs through automation, resource optimization, and cloud services. There's innovation. So IT drives innovation by enabling the development of new products, services, and business models. And then there's security. So IT IT provides tools and practices to protect sensitive data and ensure business continuity. But of course, we can't talk about the benefits without talking about the challenges. So here are some of the challenges that are presented to IT. The first one is security threats. So IT systems, they are vulnerable to cyber attacks, data breaches, and other security threats. There's complexity. So managing and integrating diverse IT systems and technologies, this can be complex and resource intensive. There's the cost factor. So implementing and maintaining IT infrastructure and services can be expensive, especially for small businesses. Then we have the issue of data management. So handling large volumes of data and ensuring data quality and integrity and compliance, this can be challenging. Then we have a serious skills gap that's going on out there where the demand for skilled IT professionals, this often exceeds the supply, creating a skills gap. And then there's downtime. So IT system failures or downtime, this can disrupt business operations that can lead to potential financial losses. All right, so let's talk about some real world applications of IT. So IT has a range of applications across various industries. And let's talk about some of them real quick. So there's the healthcare industry. So IT supports electronic health records, telemedicine, medical imaging, and healthcare analytics, which improves patient care and operational efficiency. There's the finance industry. So IT powers online banking, financial transaction, fraud detection, and risk management, which enhances 
enhances customer experiences and security. There's the retail industry. So IT enables e-commerce platforms, inventory management, customer relationship management, and personalized marketing. There's the educational institutions. So IT supports online learning, collaboration, and access to educational resources, which has transformed the learning experience. There's the manufacturing industry, so IT optimizes production processes, supply chain management, and predictive maintenance, which improves productivity and reduced costs. There's big daddy government, so IT enhances public service delivery, data management, and collaboration, which improves efficiency and transparency, or at least it should do that. There's the energy sector, so IT supports energy management, smart grids, and renewable energy solutions, which enhances sustainability and efficiency. And then there's the almighty entertainment sector. So IT powers streaming services, gaming platforms, and content distribution, providing a seamless user experience, or at least that's what it's supposed to do. All right, so let's talk about some future trends in information technology. So the future of IT is promising and scary, depending upon how you look at it, with several trends shaping its development. The first one is artificial intelligence and machine learning. So AI and machine learning, they are driving advancements in data analytics, automation, and decision making. We have cloud computing, so cloud services, they continue to grow, which offers scalable and cost-effective solutions for computing, storage, and applications. We have the Internet of Things, so IoT devices, they are expanding the scope of IT by connecting physical objects to the internet, enabling real-time data collection and analysis. We have 5G technology. So the rollout of 5G networks, this is enhancing connectivity and enabling new applications in areas such as smart cities and autonomous vehicles. We have cybersecurity. So advances in cybersecurity technologies are essential to protect against evolving threats and ensure data privacy and integrity. We have edge computing, and this is bringing data processing closer to the source, and this helps to reduce latency and improves real-time decision-making. We have the blockchain. So blockchain technology, this is enhancing data security, transparency, and integrity with applications and finance, supply chain, and plenty other things. And then there's quantum computing. So as you can see on your screen here, this is a artist rendition of Google's Willow chip, which is Google's first quantum computer chip. But anyways, quantum computing, this holds the potential to solve complex problems beyond the capabilities of classical computers. So to wrap all of this up, information technology, this is a transformative force that underpins much of modern life and business. And by understanding the principles, components, and applications of IT, individuals and organizations can leverage its power to drive innovation, improve efficiency, and achieve their goals. Despite the challenges of security threats, complexity, cost, data management, skills, gaps, and downtime, the benefits of IT are immersed. IT enables efficient data management, instant communication, scalability, cost savings, innovation, and enhanced security. And as technology continues to evolve, the future of IT holds exciting possibilities with advancements in AI, cloud computing, IoT, 5G, cybersecurity, edge computing, blockchain, and quantum computing. And by staying informed about these trends and proactively implementing advanced IT solutions, organizations can navigate the complexities of the digital age and thrive in an increasingly connected world. So understanding IT's fundamentals is crucial for anyone involved in the digital world and by adopting best practices, leveraging advanced technologies and fostering a culture of continuous learning and adaptation, individuals and organizations can harness the power of information technology to drive progress and achieve success. So in conclusion, IT is not just a field of study or a career path. It is the backbone of modern society influencing how we live, work and interact. So whether you're a business leader looking to optimize operations, an IT professional aiming to stay ahead of the curve, or a tech enthusiast who is eager to explore the latest innovations, a deep understanding of IT will provide valuable insights and opportunities.